Okay, before we get started, make sure you're caught up with the fifth episode of Superman and Lois because there are some major spoilers ahead. Now let's jump in. Superman and Lois has pleasantly surprised me and is one of my favorite shows of the year, in large part due to its focused storylines, gorgeous cinematography, and the mystery of Captain Luther. It seems this planet's Kal-El is not entirely like the one you've encountered, Captain Luther. Who is this guy? Is he just another variant of Lex, or maybe Lex's son, Alexander Jr.? Who knows? There is no shortage of Lex Luthers in the comics for the showrunners to pull from. Today we're going to look at a few of the biggest theories as to who this version of Superman's archenemy might be. After five episodes of Superman and Lois, audiences are still left guessing to who Captain Luther portrayed by Wole Parks could be. We don't know his first name, and we only got a tiny glimpse into his past life through Luther's dialogue. We also know he's a Luther from a parallel Earth and somehow managed to hitch a ride into this universe during the events of the game-changing Crisis on Infinite Earths. And that's still up in the air because we're not 100% certain if this Lex came here before or after Crisis. A few months ago, show creator Todd Helbin talked about Lex Luthor at a TCA panel and he very vaguely hints at why John Cryer is not this show's Lex Luthor. He said, It was our opportunity coming out of Crisis to tell a new story and bring the audience this new journey with somebody they feel like they've known. Our show is different. We wanted to tell a new story. I think there's a lot of twists and turns and secrets are revealed and mysteries unfold in ways that this version is going to feel fresh and new and completely different than anything we've seen before. While Superman and Lois draws heavy inspiration from the comics, this version of Luther seems like an amalgamation of a few Luthers that the showrunners pulled from the comics. Let's take a closer look at the exact inspiration. Created by Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster, Lex Luthor is one of the oldest villains in comic book history, making his debut in Action Comics number 23 in April of 1940. When he first appeared in 1940, he was portrayed with a full head of red hair. Yet, a year later, Luthor was completely bald after an artist's mistake in the Superman comic strip. Bald or not, he was an instant hit and would cement himself at the top of Kal-El's rogues gallery. Lex started off as a heavyset man in his 50s, and over time, the writers knocked 10 years and a couple of pounds off of him. Soon, they would reimagine him again, giving him a war suit that allowed him to fight Superman one-on-one. -on -one. Lex's motives are always complicated and usually buried behind layers of fake altruism. On paper, he wants to fight for the good of humanity, but in the end, the good of humanity usually boils down to trying to rid the planet of the son of Krypton. This leads to the DC multiverse that had an insane amount of alternate Luthers. There's Alexei Luther of Earth 2, a nod to the OG Golden Age appearance, Red Sun Lex of Earth 30, and Earth 1 Lex who was a woman. The list is endless. Well, the list was endless until the events of Crisis on Infinite Earths, where it erased nearly all the Luthers from continuity, including Alexander Alexander Luther Sr. of Earth-3. Earth-3 was essentially the mirrorverse opposite of Earth-1. Instead of the Justice League of America, we got an evil organization known as the Crime Syndicate of America led by Ultraman. And it was here that Alexander Luther Sr. put his son in a rocket and fired him out into what was left of the multiverse right before Earth-3 was destroyed by the antimatter wave. Alexander Luther Jr. is the sole survivor of Earth-3, and just like the Captain Luther that we've met on Superman and Lois, Alexander Jr. is notable for having a power suit. With that said, it gets a bit murky on whether this is Captain Luther because in the comics, Alexander would go nuts and murder a bunch of people after trying to create a new multiverse. Yeah, from the tone of the first five episodes, this definitely doesn't seem to be the direction the showrunners are going. But who knows, maybe Captain Luther is a new variant of Alexander Jr. and will get some awesome flashbacks to his world where we see the Crime Syndicate of America with Ultraman and crew. But keep in mind, Captain Luther explicitly calls this version Kal-El, so don't count on the name Ultraman uttered anytime soon. Another big clue that this Luther may be Alexander Jr. is his relationship with Lois. In the comics, Lois was Alexander Jr.'s mother, and in Superman and Lois, we find out that Luther and Lois were married in his universe. This could be a tweak to the comic character for screen, but it still keeps a dramatic relationship between our trio of characters. Come back to me. Okay, now this is a long shot, but some fans even think that Captain Luther might be from the Injustice universe. In a quick flashback, Lex is seen fighting with an army alongside General Sam that are wiped out by the black suit wearing Superman. No, not the Snyder Cut version. And yep, this is the very same suit that Superman wore in the Elseworlds crossover. Now, normally the black suit on Superman doesn't scream doom, but from Captain Luther's POV in the flashbacks, it certainly looks like we're dealing with a Superman that has become the planet's dictator. For all we know, this all could have been sparked by a messy love triangle since we know that Lois and Luther were married. Eh, probably not. In Injustice, Superman loses his way 
after the death of Lois and millions of others at the hands of the Joker. In that universe, Superman created the One Earth regime that consisted of not just heroes, but villains. And Batman had to form the insurgency to go up against Superman's injustice regime. Maybe in the Arrowverse version, we're going to find out that Luther formed the insurgency with Sam Lane. Superman? Stop calling him that! He's not one of us, Sam. While the footage of Superman blasting troops in Captain Luther's timeline is disturbing, one has to wonder if we're not actually getting the whole story from Cap's point of view. One thing that has us doubting the idea that this version of Luther may be a good guy is the introduction of Project 7734. In the comics, Superman's still a good guy in this universe, and Sam Lane ran a program with the goal of wiping out Superman and any other Kryptonians that get in his way. Lane even recruited Lex for the program. With all that said, we wouldn't be shocked if there's a twist in store for the reveal of Captain Luther in the second half of the season. So who do you think Captain Luther might be? My money's still on a new variant of Alexander Jr. Let us know in the comments down below, and we'll see you next time.